Welcome to my father's show, GoBlazer.tv. Hi, my name is Dr. Todd Austin from Cold Laser TV and today on Cold Laser TV I'm going to talk to you about proper cold laser therapy technique. I've got a lot of questions about this and I've been to some seminars where they teach improper cold laser therapy technique. I'm not really sure why that is but I went to one seminar with a $14,000 laser that they were trying to sell. It was a visible red laser. Uh, it was the same diode as this $30 laser, which is the at-home model that we sell our patients. Uh, what they were teaching is you just stand uh, with your laser several inches away and you do this number. Um, and I've got to tell you folks, that is not proper laser technique. I also got a call from a class four sales rep about two months ago, something like that, and he was trying to sell me a laser for $40,000, it was a class four laser, and he explained that it was a robotic laser, and because it was so robotic and advanced and high tech, he said, doctor, you don't even have to put it on the patient, it just stays eight inches above the patient and it scans back and forth on the patient. Doctor, you don't have to be in the room. This laser is so wonderful. Um, but once again, folks, for someone that knows something about lasers, that is totally not proper laser technique. So I have patients that ask me you know, when they buy the, the at-home laser to use on, on their own conditions at home, they ask about, well, how do I use that? So proper laser technique is as follows. We're going to put the now, now keep in mind, if we were lasering something like an open wound, or if we were lasering um, like a scab, a cut, something there, you wouldn't want to put a lot of pressure. If that's the case, you would just be lasering that above the skin and not making contact. But we're not going to be six or eight inches out here. We're going to be as close to the skin as we can get without touching it. So maybe a matter of um, just you know a few millimeters four or five millimeters maybe. So that's what we'd be doing there. Now, proper laser technique for most things, you know, so if we're treating a, a muscle issue or a joint issue, um, we're going to use what I call proper laser technique, and that means we are going to actually make contact with the laser, and we are going to apply a little bit of pressure with that. Um, now you can see when I'm this laser has a penetration of one centimeter. So you can see that the whole end of my finger is kind of lit up red there. The whole thing is the laser's pen, laser light photons are penetrating all of that tissue. Um, by the way, it does actually go through bones, so it is going through the bone there as well. But if I was just holding it out here, um, you see it really doesn't penetrate all the way through as well or if I'm holding it out here. It really doesn't penetrate as well as it does when we're applying a little bit of pressure there. Now the other thing that happens, if we're, if we're not applying pressure, all of the capillary beds are full of red blood cells. And red blood cells have hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is notorious for absorbing red, visible red laser light. So if we're not making good contact and applying a little bit of pressure and we're trying to get this deeper than just superficial, like for an open wound, um, then what's happening, if we're, if we're not applying that correct technique and we're just out here waving it around, those red blood cells, the hemoglobin in those red blood cells is going to absorb a lot of that laser light, at least about 60% of it. So if we're applying that, that small but firm pressure, we're going to close off those capillary beds for the most part, which pushes that, those hemoglobin molecules and red blood cells out of the way, and then that way it's going to enhance our ability to get our laser light photons to our target tissues, the tissues that we wanted to treat with the cold laser therapy in the first place. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we use proper laser technique. I Hope that you got some good information out of this, and I hope that you will tune in for future episodes of Cold Laser TV as well. 
So thank you and have a terrific day.